Hello YouTube, um, I promised to basically make a video about this. It's me taking my um, Toshi Toshiba laptop satellite that I just recently purchased. My OCZ hard drive that I also did an unboxing for. This is the Vertex 2 60GB. It can do um, read up to 280 megabytes per second and write up to 275 megabytes per second so it's a very fast SSD. Uh, one of the fastest uh, SATA 2 SSDs I believe. Anyways, they're fast in general. This is the box for it. If you haven't seen my videos, just click on the little tab above to see all my re uh, previous videos. Or just check out my channel. This is the Toshiba 13 inch i5 AMD, no, not AMD, ATI, my bad. Uh, 5470 mobility graphics card. So this is half a gig of RAM. It's mobile, um, of course, uh, I don't remember the frequencies, all that stuff. Uh, 500 gig hard drive, 42, uh, 4200 milliamp hour battery, uh, 4 gigs of RAM, CD drive. Uh, besides from that, there's no Bluetooth. Oh yeah, there's an eSATA on the side, but yeah. sorry, it's a little bit late in the day. I can't remember everything off the top of my head, so I'm going to here get started. Got my screwdriver. Now, as I can see, it only looks like there's only two screws, which is a good thing, because then it's less screws I would lose. Now, this one snaps off, I just don't want to break anything. Hmm. Okay. So the hard drive is right here in this little casing. So there's the memory. I guess that's how they easy up, uh, upgraded. Okay, so I'm guessing you just pull it. Oh, no. There's one more screw right here. Just going to put that right here. Now you can pull it. Yep. So same size. Voila. Perfect. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to flip this plate over and basically just put all the screws there. Like I don't really upgrade hard drives much in the laptop. It usually gets the job done. But the reason why I'm doing this is because the ba since the battery life is not too good on this, I decided just to upgrade it in to like Linux so it's much lighter, a little battery life. Uh, and when I'm done with it, I'll run some um, tests on it. So now this has Windows 7 Home Premium drivers for this. If you try to put this with any other motherboard or desktop or whatever, it'll probably you'll get the blue screen just because it's not used to the hardware change. Okay, there we go. Let's pop this puppy in. Maybe I can give you some guys some like a little background story of why I got this particular laptop rather than like a bigger gaming one. Um, the reason why I got this is because um, 15 inches not bad. I have one actually right here, but since like I already have a 15 inch, I actually noticed that it's quite chunky. Not saying that like, uh, not saying that all 15 inches are not chunky. It's just that. Why would I get another 15 inch if I already have one? So I like thought, well, okay. There's something like a netbook out, but I don't want a netbook. I don't want the Atom processor. So I was like going to go for an i3. But then I realized, wait, I saw this thing. And basically I got my eye on it. Sorry guys, I'm just having some trouble with this. The holes are not actually matching up perfectly. But they're matching enough, uh, up enough so I can put a couple screws in. But I want to try to get all of them in. So I don't have to worry about losing any. Because I'm not going to I'm not gonna remember where I put these screws later on. I know myself very well. I'm going to be like, what screws? 
There's more screws. How come there are other how come there's no screws? Okay. That's three out of four. Last one. This last hole looks like it's gonna to be tough. Oh no. Uh Okay, I guess I was just handicapped earlier. So there you go. OCZ SSD inside the little bracket. Now if I can just get this thing in. I think it's not too hard to upgrade a hard drive. Okay, so that's in there. Fold this thing down. Okay, that looks good. I think you might think it weird that I'm sure not keeping it inside of its handle. Like, um, just because, like, it takes more effort to turn it. If it's just, like, if I know the screws are going to fit, then I just use my, um, use that. Then I use this, twist it a little bit, so it just tightens it up. Now, I made a very, very crucial mistake that I noticed now. Every time you're changing any kind of components, desktop or laptop, take the battery out or unplug it directly. Actually, no, for a laptop, tap, unplug it directly and take the battery out. Desktop, don't just flick the switch off. Just actually unplug it directly because it actually still holds a charge. Um, yeah. For this, I'm just going to put it back into this. Well, not really back. I'm actually going to put it in this. And I can actually carry it around like that. I can carry it around like this because, well, it has a nice foaming pattern. And I don't want to just shove a hard drive in there. I don't really have an, like, an enclosure to put it in. So, and then maybe like I might just mistakenly think of it as like, something else. Well, then again, I could boot it off the, um, boot it off of that. So I just avoid any trouble. Take these. These I probably won't need anytime soon. Brackets are nice, but I fi mostly find SSDs to be more for a laptop suite. You can run RAID in a desktop and you have more than enough power. Most average power supplies can handle it easily. Okay, so I got that in. Oh. Hmm. Gotta put this somewhere. Lock it in. Now I'm going to dismount the camera. Actually, no, I'm going to move the camera. Give me a second, guys. Okay, so here, basically, I just move the camera to a different angle. Just going to turn it up. Okay. No bootable disk. It's a good sign. So I got my... Ubuntu, 1010, notebook, netbook, whatever. Like, this thing doesn't require actually a lot of processing power. I just really like the interface, so. Let that read. There we go. So if you have not actually installed any kind of operating system, especially in Linux, I guess this could be a um, um, to-go tutorial, basically how to install Linux, and I just realized I can see myself in the reflection. Good job. Okay, let's do this. Haha. -ha. You can see my ceiling and my forehead.
So I'm just going to actually just let it install. If you don't know how to install Ubuntu, I will have to say very rudely that you probably need some help because it's probably one of the easiest operating systems to install. Um, it's a little bit different. This is basically so I can just do some programming in general. Um, I would be using some other different kind of Linux distro, but eh, Ubuntu on a, this lovely piece of hardware right here. And you know what? It's great for laptops, Ubuntu. So, I don't know how you guys would like this video. I'm a little bit tired, so that's why I blanked out for a little bit. Um, if you have any uh, comments, leave them in the uh, leave them in the comment section below. Send me a message. Let me know what you guys think about this. I get this video up as soon as I can, depending how tired I am. And yeah, it's twelve twenty four ninety three. Signing out. If you like this video, subscribe. Set write down in the comments below on any of my unboxing videos of what you would like to see, preferably if they were related. Any questions, just ask. Um. And I hope you guys basically have a great day. I was going to be more, a little bit more specific and say something like, have a great weekend or whatever, but it's not really a weekend or a week night. So, as you can see, it's almost done the installation. I just have to go through a couple updates. I bet you guys don't even see that. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a good time. And I am just blabbering about random stuff. See ya.